Hi, I'm excited to show you a special look at the amazing creatures and spectacular music from Harry Potter films. These features are only available on the Harry Potter and Prisoner of Azkaban and Harry Potter of the Goblet of Fire Ultimate Editions. If you have a really big orchestra, Abbey One is the biggest room you can get. It's got a lot of height, a lot of breadth to it. So uh, the sound can really be rich, it can be dark, it can be expansive. It's a really wonderful studio for a big orchestral sound. Abbey Road has a unique decay characteristic in the sound when you hit a note and, and stop and just the reverberant vibrations that happen Or I mean, it's, it's, it has a wonderful sound to it. There's all the history that goes along with Abbey Road and everything too, so where, however that plays into the mix, I don't know, you know, you can leave it up to the metaphysicians as to how that adds to the sound. I believe it does. A recording studio can very much affect the sound of, of what's being recorded. Abbey Road has a very kind of traditional, almost like a concert hall orchestral sound. But actually, the music for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire was recorded at Air Lindhurst Studios in Hampstead. It's a converted church. Air Lindhurst was, was certainly right for Harry Potter. It works very well with, with strings, 